truffles are super plentiful in Umbria, and black truffles, or tartufo nero, are a particular specialty. My Umbrian primo is gnocchi al tartufo nero. And these baked potatoes are how I start my gnocchi. All I've done is prick them, bake them in the oven, until they are super tender and soft to make a nice, smooth, potato, fluffy mixture. I push them through a sieve whilst they're still warm, because it's a lot easier to do it that way. And this is how you get silky potatoes without any lumps. Sprinkle a little flour, a pinch of salt. Gently work this together until I get the right feel of mixture. So now at this point, I can use my hands and really get a feel for the dough. My dough is at the right consistency. Still soft and supple, but absorbed just enough flour. You know, I probably don't make enough gnocchi at home. I know my wife would say that. Because whenever I do, she will always bring up when I was doing a little cooking demo and dinner at a winery, and I'd served gnocchi that night. And she said, after having that meal and that gnocchi, that's the day that she fell in love with me, almost 27 years ago. So these are for my adorable wife. Some of the most delicious sauces start off with olive oil and butter, and to that, I've added chopped garlic and a little chopped shallots, which I want to just soften up, sweeten up, and to get to know one another a little better. A nice dry white wine, thick cream, and then just a bit of time to reduce it and concentrate the flavors. My sauce is coming along really nicely. All that cream and cheese and wine. Time to cook the gnocchi. A good pot of boiling water once they float. 10 or 15 seconds and they are done. Light and fluffy. They're starting to float, which is always a good sign. Lovely light dumplings are ready. And so is my sauce. And in they go. These are gonna be beautiful. And this is the tartufo nero the prized and beautiful black diamond of the kitchen, the truffle. And a handy little truffle slicer, and away I go. Did you know in medieval times, truffles were banned by the church for being seductively delicious? Must have been the devil's work. And the aroma of that truffle, not only when I opened the jar, but now that they've hit these piping hot gnocchi, the intensity of that aroma has increased tenfold. A little more truffle, just because I can. And a few chives. I'm ready to try them. Lovely, glistening pillows of potato and truffley goodness.
the intensity of that truffle and the richness of that decadent, creamy and cheesy sauce. This is culinary extravagance.